What's going on you guys, Laxo here again. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop right into it here. This is the video we've all been waiting for. It is Yoruichi. We're going to be taking a look at Yoruichi here. Okay, so first thing we look at is skill specialty. All enemies, okay. High front row damage, interesting. Uh, next is her attributes here. Looks like she has pretty good attack for a high attacker. She has really really good attack as the highest attack in the game i believe i think groom job was the second highest at like 796 or something and defense at 183 okay let's go ahead and take a look at her war souls here heroic war soul increase the effect reduction rate of all attacks plus characters by 0.67 pretty good let's go ahead and take a look at her talent here Increase the damage reduction rate of all male characters by 3%. Okay, that's actually really, really good. That is really, really good. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at her her bonds here. So, with attackers, what we're looking for is a 4 to 2 ratio on attack being the 4 and HP being the, the 2. So we're looking for, let's see here, a HP, attack, HP, so that's not looking good off the bat, and then HP, attack, HP, so maybe she's just looking to be a high HP attacker, which could be a thing. Some characters are high HP attackers, so anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this. We have head of the family, we have... Kukaku Shiba, Byakuya, those are two characters that everybody should have. So HP Bond, that's looking good. We have Kisuke Urahara, most people should have him at 6 to 7 star by now. And Yoruichi there, and over here we have all three Yoruichis, which once again, all which everybody should have. So I'm pretty sure all these characters are pretty common. The most difficult one to get would be the UR... Yoruichi, so all the bonds are pretty much guaranteed right out of the gate. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay, so HP, attack, HP. Interesting. That is, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the 4 HP to attack, but let's go ahead and take a look at focus, HP. Alright, well that's a thing. Okay, so what are we missing here? Crit chance looks like she does have crit chance built into her kit though, so it's gonna go up. Numbers are looking pretty regular. Crit strength. Alright. Well, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a quick look at her kit now. Okay. So I actually took a look at her kit and I am so confused with this right now. What noticed is I I think what noticed is it is it's just a marker on the enemy. I don't think it does anything. I think it's just a marker on the enemy. So before we actually... Actually, let's let's cover all the skills and then we'll actually take a look at the battle. Okay. So, Master Skill deals damage to a single enemy if the target does not have noticed. This attack ignores 50% of the target's defense. If the target does have noticed, Yoruichi gains... If the target does have noticed, Yoruichi gains 200 rage. Okay. That is pretty good. 200 rage from Master Skill is pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Rage Skill here. Deals damage to all enemies. Targets affected by noticed have their crit resist chance reduced by 20% for the duration of this rage attack. So... Affected by notice. I assume notice is just something that's on them. It doesn't actually do anything. The translation here is so poor. I apologize. I'm struggling here. Okay. When this rage attack causes critical hits, the enemy front row takes additional damage equal to 40% of Yoruichi's attack. 40% is actually pretty low. That's about... 120k if you have her at 300k attack, which might not be a thing, especially because she has such low attack here, so 
Anyways. Equal to 40% of your wishes attack. After a weapon awakens, damage is increased for every enemy with by... Wait, for every enemy with by noticed? I'm so... Oh gosh, dude, this... I'm, I'm so confused right here with this translation. Enemies with noticed have their damage reduction rate decreased. Doesn't say? Okay. Crit chance of Yoruichi's rage attacks are increased. Dude. I'm 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 sorry to complain a little bit here, but the translations are bad, the numbers are bad, it it nothing is direct. It's very vague, it's indirect, and nothing is described correctly. They need to take this character down and fix her right now. Like Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at her passive. Yoruichi has increased crit chance and damage rate. At the beginning of combat, inflict one stack of noticed on the enemy with the highest HP. Each basic attack and mastery skill inflicts one stack of noticed on the target and enemies in the same row cannot be dispelled. The first time Yoruichi's HP falls below 40%, she regains 8% of her HP for each enemy with noticed. Looks like notice is only affecting the front row, I believe. So that's 24% of her max HP. Alright. After Yoruichi uses a rage attack or leaves the battlefield, all stacks of notice are removed. On enemies are removed while Yoruichi is in guard stance. Notice does not take effect. What is guard stance? I'm so confused. Okay, so... Looks like she has some good... Okay, so we actually have numbers here. Crit chance, 8%. Damage rate, 4%. That's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good crit chance and damage rate. But once again, I am struggling to fully understand and comprehend what this character does because it doesn't give us exact numbers or definitions. So, once again, she combos. She either regens rage or does a ton of damage because she ignores defense. And then when she rages, she reduces the crit resist chance. She has built an increased crit chance. She lowers the damage reduction rate and increases her own crit chance, which is really, really good. Which is probably something you probably want to maybe look at putting her Warsaw on her because it looks like it might do pretty well on her. We'll see. And then Flash Master's Pride. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and quickly run her through a battle here real quick. Let's kill some music. Also, guys, if you guys haven't already subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom. I really appreciate it. Help me get to my goal, 500 subs, and, uh, yep. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at a trial fight here. Okay. So. Looks like there is... Okay, so there is... Okay, so this is the character with the highest HP. We attack her, so the entire front row now has noticed, I assume. So now they have lower crit resist chance, so this should be increased crit chance. One hundred and sixty k. That's actually not too bad. Okay, so notice is gone now. I think. Okay. Okay, notice is back. Go ahead and take a look. Once again, increase crit chance. No crits. Okay. Alright, so that is that. I am not going to take another look at that right now. However, what we are going to do is we are going to combine her and get her as high as we can get her and just take a look at some numbers real quick. 
やれやれ、そう騒ぐな。やれやれ、そう騒ぐな。All right, so this is her. As you can see, we have all the bonds already ready to go. That is pretty nice. Go ahead and get her to max level. I feel like I should pause during this just because it takes about 30 seconds to go through the entire 100 levels. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. In my future videos, should I just skip all this extra nonsense or actually? Sit through it. What do you guys think? I'm kind of curious because it's your guys' time that's being wasted, not mine, because I could just pause it. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look here at her numbers now.、Uh, right here. Ah,、oh, that's a bummer. This is actually the numbers I want to take a look at, so we can't see those numbers. Alright, so 179.6, 149.6, and 16.8 attack. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and mess around with her a little bit here, get her up. Probably to like blue 2 or blue 3. We'll see. Nice, we're getting her to purple. Let's see if we can get her to gold, maybe. That'd be pretty cool. Nice, yeah, let's go ahead and get her to gold. Ah, shoot, sorry. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at her numbers at gold since we got her here. Alright, so. Get this up here. Looks like that's probably going to cap at 3%. No, it's probably going to cap at 3.5%, maybe. 3.5, maybe 4%. Talent, unlock this. Looks like max. Okay, max is 3%. I thought level 1 was 3%. Wow, when I was reading that, I was like, dude, that is such a broken. That is such a broken talent. It's going to be like a 5 to 10%. Damage reduction rate. Wow. I'm actually really glad I was wrong about that. Okay. So let's go ahead and. I don't think there's really much else we could do. Let's go ahead and take, just take a look at her base numbers. So. Crit chance 47.65. That is actually going to be higher once we get her to four star. You know what? How close are we to four star? Let's just get her to four star. Yeah, screw it. Alright. Alright, so we are looking at crit chance of 16%. Wow. And damage rate of 8%. Jeez. Wow, that's an. Get these up. Alright. Base crit chance 47.65. And then with this, that's going to make it, what, 62%? 63%? So 63%. That's really, really good. That's, wow. 
And then let's just toss on a crit war soul, see what happens there. Once again, we all know my favorite war soul is crit, so... What would that make this? Get her crit chance up to 72 plus 16. So that's 88% crit chance. Wow. That's actually insane. 88% crit chance. Oof. All right. Well, tell you what, guys, we are going to do a little bit of testing with her probably in the next video because this video is carrying on pretty long. I'll have another video coming out tomorrow. I'll put this one out tonight. And maybe we can get her up a little bit more. But I think that might be as much as I want to get her up to now. Looking at her weapon, though. Let's go ahead and take a look at her weapon, actually. Before I kill this here. Okay, so. After weapon awakens, damage is increased for every enemy with by oh my gosh with by noticed enemies with notice have their damage reduction rate decreased and crit chance of yodoichi's rage attacks are increased okay so based on what i'm seeing here unless there's some crazy damage numbers with her weapon i don't think her weapon is mandatory all it does is reduce the damage reduction rate of the enemy and increase her crit chance maybe a little bit maybe a lot i'm assuming a little bit but yeah so it looks like her weapon is not mandatory that's nice all of the characters up till now have had mandatory you have to get a weapon or else she just doesn't work so that's pretty good that's a relief but yeah that's also pretty nice 60 percent crit her her kit is looking pretty good when I was testing her damage earlier, her damage was looking pretty good. Like her rage was doing 200k. And then her, her mastery skill was doing some really good damage as well. So yeah, I'll have to do a little bit of testing, see what she looks like. But that right there will do it for this one, guys. Um, once again, I'll have a video coming out here pretty soon. And just pretty soon tomorrow. And uh, you guys can tune in for that one. But uh yeah, if you guys haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down there. I would really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already uh, liked the like button, hit the like button. Smash the like button. Questions, comments, and concerns, hit me in the comment section as per usual. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.